Let's go. How you doing, man? I'm oh, good, bro. Uh, long time no see, man. Yeah, I haven't seen you. You've been all over the world, bro. Where you been? I've just been trying to keep busy, man. Trying to yeah. keep busy. Yeah, so how's how's life like um, as a boxer, man? Is it hard staying disciplined, staying focused? It is very hard. I've been at uh, KFC a lot. Um, uh, my weight's good. I'm feeling relaxed. I'm feeling confident. I just want to go there and you know, have fun. Wait, wait. You're lying about the KFC thing, right? Because I follow you on Snapchat. You seem to be eating healthy meals. Good what proportion. I, what so. I post on Snapchat is just uh, just all the healthy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's a dark side that we that we don't share. Everyone's got a dark side. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's got a dark side. Hey, but you're looking good, man. Looking in shape today. Nah, and the good. Way, yeah, yeah. Now nah, I weighed in at 74 something, so we're fighting at 75, so yeah, pretty pretty good. So yeah, so you know, tell us about you know who you're fighting tomorrow. You're gonna fight Marcus McKenzie. I'm fighting Marcus McKenzie. I don't know too much about him. I've seen a couple of his fights. He trains at Hamilton Cosmopolitan, maybe. Uh... No, no, he's actually from Hibiscus. Oh, okay, okay, got it. I don't know too much about him, but I've seen a couple of his fights live. He's actually a pretty, uh, pretty good fighter. Isn't yeah. He? Uh, how would you describe his fighting style? Like a come forward sort of style? Yep, yep. Yeah. So I think the technically wise, uh, the best way to beat him is just stay on the back foot. Just use my speed and. Um, slickness, just to keep moving, hit, move, hit, move. But who knows? I might try uh, go toe to toe, mix it up with him a bit as well. If he's a bit too strong for me, then I might just back off and stay on the back foot and just yeah, work angles. How do you balance it? Because you know they call you, you know, the entertainment. Yeah. So on the one hand, you want to be smart, but on the other hand, you want to live up to the name, right? Yeah. Do you, I mean, is that a tricky situation to be in, or? Uh, no. Yeah, I guess in a way, like. Uh, I'm just trying to get my personality, you know, um, sell the name in a way where, like, you know, I'm a pretty uh, bubbly dude, like, I'm pretty friendly, I get along with any, everyone, everyone, so, yeah, uh, tomorrow night, it's, it should be interesting, you know, just go out there and just um, have fun, you know, hopefully, like, all the people that are coming tomorrow night, hope you're on a Tuesday night as well, you know, I'm gonna do my thing with my rows, like I always do. Like yeah, what can we expect tomorrow? Any anything different, maybe or? Uh... Yeah, I might have two uh, two partners in crime to join me. Uh, as oh, well serious? To walk out to a little, you know. So, yeah. I get excited because you know it's always the unknown, right? It's, it's always it's, something. Yeah. It's different because um, now I'm just trying to bring like some fun to the boxing scene. And you can't take it too seriously. You know, you gotta love what you do. You gotta be passionate, and you gotta have fun with it. You know, if you're too serious about it, then. Um, you know, it's just gonna make you boring. It's gonna make you, you know, you gotta just chill a bit, I guess. So, yeah. Let's go. Can we get some predictions for some fights? Predictions. Uh, so you know, Parker is gonna be fighting Alexandra Dimitrikov. Yeah, uh, I actually haven't. Uh, to be honest, I haven't actually looked too much into it. Uh, I've seen his record in that, so I know Parker's a. This is actually a good fight for Parker. You know, to prepare for Anthony Joshua ahead. Uh, I, I actually believe Parker, you know, like I said in the last interview, support our boy 100%, you know, represents South Auckland, you know, he's one of the most humblest fighters you'll meet, that you'll probably meet yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, yeah, I'll go uh, Parker, I have because I haven't seen the other guy fight, so I'll just... He's a tall guy, just, they call him the Giants, he's like yeah. this really tall guy. I'll call it, I'll, I think it's 6'7", something uh, like that. Is it 10 rounds? Uh, maybe 12. I'll, yeah, go, I'll, yeah. go, I'll go the distance or park it. Really? Okay. I'll go the distance. Because I don't know much about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demetrius. Now, a local fight. Uh, next week, Sam Rapira is going to be fighting Robert Berridge. Wow, very interesting fight. Yeah. How do you see I, that I one? I follow going? both of them, social media. Um, I think, in my own opinion, uh, the butcher is the heavier puncher. Sam, maybe a bit more uh, technical in that, especially when he works his body shots. It would be tricky though because uh, Berra's been a southpaw. Uh, when Sam Rapira fought uh, Vaimuli, I think that I don't know if that was his first pro fight against a southpaw. But when he fought him, that was Vaimuli's first pro fight. Uh, he he actually struggled against uh, Vaimuli. Vaimuli put up a really uh, really good fighting. So it would be interesting. So southpaw has possessed some sort of challenge, you think? Uh, challenging. I the, think it will, yeah. uh, it, will, it will present a challenge for uh, Rapira. Right? You know, the boxing game, anything can happen, so, you know. Who, who's smart on the day, who's more chilled, relaxed, you know, who's calm, who's confident, anything happens, bro. Because, yeah, now we're in his hometown, right? In Sam Rapira's hometown. Yeah. So, uh, there might be the hometown advantage, right? Definitely, I call that, uh, yeah, he's got the advantage, but at the same time, 
Vera's just come off a fight. He fought, uh, I think he fought a guy called Alvarez. Eddie Alvarez, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. that's on the world stage. Eh? So yeah, that guy's top ranking, right? Top ranking. So yeah. he did pretty well, went the, distance, well. Yeah. Yeah, went the distance. And short notice, so yeah. so he got some experience under his belt. Yeah. Uh, another one, another one. Okay, um, Adrian Tahir versus Robert Berridge. Interesting fight, very interesting fight. That is, uh, I'd have to say, for the middleweight division in New Zealand, that's probably one of the biggest fights. That's a, that, that yeah. It hasn't was meant to happen a long time ago, but it hasn't hasn't happened yet. So, um, if I had to call the fight, I don't know them on a personal level. I've seen both of them fight. You know, they are uh, they've both held like uh, titles and that. They both. Ranked. Yeah, they so both I'll, risen up the ranks together almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the good thing about it too, it builds uh, like that um, boxing interest in that because they got that uh, rivalry yeah. between them. You don't really see that in um, New Zealand boxing because yeah. everyone's so humble. You know, we all respect each other. It's not like the American um, stage. You know, yeah, this one you can feel attention. Like yeah, when they're in the room, a, there's a certain. And it's real as well. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. I think they've dubbed it as the New Zealand public's dream matchup. So. Yeah. So with it's that, good for yeah, yeah. In my own opinion, I'll probably have to say um, I'll say I'll go butcher. I'll go the butcher yeah. because he's a southpaw. I'm southpaw. So yep, butcher. And what can we expect from you tomorrow? Fireworks? Uh, fingers crossed, fireworks. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I don't need, victory nonetheless. Don't right? need too much KFC tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, but keep it up, man. Keep up the Snapchats. Thank it's you. always entertaining, man. So uh, Thank you. you know, uh, yeah. Thanks for your time, man. Yeah, just tell the people where they can follow you, man. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm still a corporate fighter, building my uh, building my name up. So if you want to follow me, I've got a, a Facebook page, which is Scope the Entertainment Series. You can catch me on there. I uh, usually post up my trainings and uh, people I get to meet in the boxing game, like I've met Josh, Flavor Channel, and uh, yeah. If you if you like, give me a like on um, Facebook.